Oh, it looks so sloppy. Hi guys. Guess who's back? Hi. Just look, 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 just see me up. 22, spring and summer have just been like making my life chaotic a little bit. Just a little, no, more like a lot. Now I said third or fourth video that you're hearing, I'm back for good this time. I trust me, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. But my life got really freaking chaotic. I haven't posted in, <laughs> since like June. Just, okay, you know, the first half of the year, Lindsay, wasn't prepared to do YouTube. But the second half of the year, Lindsay, is back. I am back, I promise I am back. I have a lot to cover and unbox. We have so much to discuss. My getting stuff done outfit, which is a workout attire. And I was getting ready. I thought this were Marshalls. Like, I look like Meredith Blake from Parent Trap. Like, any minute, my fiance is going to tell me he has twins that got separated at birth. Um, my beloved, beautiful cat, Salem. We've been battling his kidney disease all summer long. It's progressed significantly to the point now, and I'm gonna try and just cover this real quick um, because it's probably the saddest part of this entire vlog, trying to spend time with him. I just took him off all the medicines and a uh, food diet at this point because I just want him to eat. So he only eats like treats because he doesn't want anything else. And he's lost a lot of weight. Well, this past July, in June, um, since basically May, it's just been about sustaining him. Also, I've been traveling a lot, so I went to Florida multiple times. So you saw the last video I, I sent was me going to Florida for my high school reunion and also finding out about Salem. Um, I did end up going back to Florida, back Dirk, because everything just really started falling apart with Salem my own health, I freaking got E. coli. Like who gets E. coli? Like I just kept getting, e I got E. coli, then a kidney infection, and then I had a horrible, I got poisoned by antibiotics. So be careful with antibiotics. Um, yeah, I got completely poisoned by, cause I was on like three, four different antibiotics over the summer. One of them really didn't do well. We don't know if it's an allergic reaction or what, but that took two weeks to recover. I was out of work for three weeks. So my finances are the worst it's ever been. Really bad right now. I had to change my job and I took a pay cut and I'm just really behind. So I'm worried, I had to deal with my own health issues, Salem's health issues, finances are like non-existent. And I finally was just like, after a month of this, like my birthday was July 3rd and I had all these videos planned for you guys. And I was gonna do my monthly reset on July 1st, but obviously my life fell apart over the summer. And I just spent it in hermit mode. I completely went off of the grid, no social media, no YouTube. I did stick with acting, I did. So the good news with everything going wrong, um, there is some good in this actually to inspire you guys. So I got the, the ugly out, but let's talk about the beautiful now that happened. Um, because of everything falling apart and I hit ground, literally I'm at rock bottom with everything. Everything was falling apart. Like I just, I just uh, so my primary care doctor, said that you must be um, sick a lot getting these infections because your body can't fight them off because, and here's the second reason I looked tired all the time. I was serving at a job from 5 p.m. to 3 a.m., not getting home till 4 a.m., not going to bed till 6, almost 8 a.m. every day, rinse and repeat, going to bed at 8 a.m. and waking up at 4 p.m. every single day, living off of Duncan, by the way. This is the first Duncan, we'll get to this. It's the first Duncan I bought in a couple weeks. I got to the point that I ended up not sleeping and having horrific panic attacks and heart racing. Resting heart rate was like 112 and all these issues were happening to me. And I stopped, like I just couldn't, I uh, had no appetite because I was sick with so much stuff. And my diet was poor. My sleep schedule was horrible. I'm allergic to everything outside. So we basically chalked it up as I have to change my career. I have to fix my sleep schedule. Like I have to. So I no longer work those, sh I no longer work those shifts. I completely switched to morning shifts at a restaurant and I serve while also going after my acting career, which is thriving by the way. Um, that's another reason you guys haven't seen me is because I am literally auditioning every single day, every single day. All right, first audition. Look 
number two. I play proper. <laughs> All right, I gotta do this audition. Look number three. This is, as you can tell, for a Christmas movie. I'm getting on tape for Marvel stuff, Disney stuff, Disney Plus stuff, uh, Paramount Plus stuff, untitled Netflix stuff because Netflix is very shishish, just like Marvel. And yesterday for Moe's commercial and a movie that The Rock and Chris Evans star in. So I've been auditioning like crazy. I've also been filming stuff. I did a commercial uh, last week and it was really cool to be like, I walked in and immediately they're like, hair and makeup over here, then you're gonna go over here, the wardrobe's over here, you're gonna sign this, your agent will mail you your check, and I'm like, I feel like a star. <laughs> Where I started with May, June, and July. Like my birthday, I spent on the couch in a ball and then woke up throwing up. Like it was a horrible, horrible beginning of summer. Now that we're ending summer and we transition to, as of now, we are in the second half of the year. And there is mid, mid year reset is like my typical new month reset or my weekly routines where I completely clean, get rid of the bath, go buy and update things, like get a new loofah, toothbrush, razor. Um, if I need anything updated, I wash my comforter every first of the month. Like there's things that I get to just like really set a good foundation so I can go after my life. And uh, the first half of the year is from June to, to July 1st, and then July 1st to the end of the year. But obviously July <laughs> had its own little thing going on. So my reset and second half of the year started on August 1st. So that's also why I wanted to make this video for you guys too. So one, I'm updating you on my life. And then two, bring you along with it. Hopefully this whole video that's rambling all over the place, you can follow along and get inspired to update your life and stuff. So the mid-year reset is going to be very familiar. It's gonna look like my weekly stuff or my monthly, just, if this is solely to prepare me for the second half of the year, to finish the second half of the year strong. What I did is I really realized in July, I have to make lifestyle changes. Like obviously I'm falling apart. Like I'm hitting rock bottom, which I did with my health, my finances, my relationships, everything is just so bad. Like, oh my God. So I finally was like, I can either stay here, curl up in a ball and be defeated and whatever, which I felt like there were plenty of days where I felt like giving up. Or I got myself together, picked myself up and was like, I'm going to a primary care doctor, which we ran every test and there was nothing wrong with me. Um, I'm going to get a therapist and I highly recommend a therapist. I have nothing to do with, I don't have any sponsors or anything, but um, I almost went with BetterHelp. There was, I want to say Ariana Grande invested millions of dollars into it, so check out BetterHelp. Um, before I ended up doing them, I did get a hold of my insurance, and my insurance has a therapy uh, situation for me. So I went with my, my insurance, and I found my therapist through my, my insurance and which I pay out of pocket for insurance and it's the best thing I've ever done. I have officially had therapy once a week, every week in July since everything happened and oh my God, I love my therapist so much. She really helped me hone into like, cause obviously I was having anxiety and I need to navigate through this life that I'm, I have and going through everything. Um, realizing I'm not gonna get into it because confidentiality reasons but I will say like I had my own like uh, why I am the way I am today situation and really going through that and now when I have a stressful week and I see her I talk about the whole week from the last time I spoke to her up until speaking to her now and every week has been stressful and I'm like I had this and this and I have anxiety she's like breathe she's teaching me breathing and exercises she's helping me get out we're learning how to set boundaries and setting boundaries is something I've never done before in my entire life. So we're setting boundaries and it's just been the best thing ever. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Everyone needs to get a therapist. I don't want to model, but I booked um, a modeling gig and I'm going to be on a runway in like a month. Yeah, in a month from now, I'm going to be on a runway. Like apparently I'm a fashion model too. Like I, I don't know. <laughs> my life is a movie. So 
uh, acting is good. Uh, health is number one priority. Mental health and physical health is your wealth. Like my finances may be complete shit right now, but I know one day I'll make the money again. I've seen myself with no money. I've seen myself with money. I'll get the money again. I don't know how, where, I just trust. I believe money is coming to me. I'm a money magnet, it's okay. I know you guys are gonna be subscribed and get your friends to subscribe so I can monetize this YouTube channel. There's another reason I need this YouTube channel to grow. But I don't care anymore about it growing this sense because I'm now doing YouTube as a passion and as a hobby. Acting is my career. Acting is my front row thing I wanna do. So officially, I am taking vitamins. I started a morning routine and a night routine. I will show you my morning routine in another video, but I will be ending this video with a night routine. So you're getting a whole life update chit chat with me, a uh, mid-year reset vlog in between, and then we're gonna close this vlog with a night routine. I'm gonna go get my birthday reward from Sephora. We also have to go to the store because like I do with every month, um, I am going to get a new loofah, toothbrush. We need a new air filter. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go do all that. I think I'm gonna go to Kroger. The second part of this video, which is actually getting shit done. What I need to start doing, I'm gonna ramble forever. This is now uh, probably edited down. Maybe I didn't, but we're at 41 minutes. So cut to the next thing. <laughs> minutes washing I'm going to detail my car from the inside and then by the time I'm done with that I'll switch everything to the dryer and then head over to Kroger and go grocery shopping and go to the mall and get my Sephora gift and wash my car and fill up the gas jeez my car got hot so fast oh my car got hot so fast pardon me squeeze me This is what I use to clean my car with. It is so hot in here. Oh my god. I think they had like makeup, skincare, or hair care. I chose skincare. I got these. This is a face wash and a, a face moisturizer. This is just a, oh, it's a primer. Oh, hello. This is a primer. I'll put this on in my morning routine. Put it in a low ponytail because it was giving me a headache. I don't even know if you can hear me. I have these cheap dollar store headphones in. So if you can't hear me, whoops walk while the sun sets and possibly rain. My arm is hurting <laughs> holding this up. So I'm gonna continue going for my walk and walk all the way to the park and hopefully beat this rain. When we came to an end.